Alleged spies Michael Zatoli and Patricia Mills lived as a married American couple with children in this Washington area apartment complex. But just an hour before they appeared today in court, the government revealed more evidence. Prosecutors say the couple admitted being Russian citizens using phony names. Michael Zatoli and Patricia Mills are really Mikhail Kutsik and Natalia Paraverzeva. A laptop computer found at the couple's home has now been traced to the Russian intelligence service and their two safe deposit boxes contain phony passports and $100,000 in cash. The FBI has also connected a large stash of cash, $80,000, to two other suspects, Cynthia and Richard Murphy, who lived in this house in Montclair, New Jersey. Intelligence experts say Moscow invested heavily in this decade-long suburban spy program. This is about the most expensive way of conducting espionage and the most labor-intensive way of conducting espionage, which I think also contributes to why this is so strange. Despite the use of sophisticated spy trade craft, invisible ink, coded messages, and clandestine meetings, the alleged spies apparently stole little of importance. Prosecutors say the secret agents were supposed to develop long-range sources by quietly blending in. But one of the suspects compromised her cover by seeking attention. Now Manhattan socialite Anna Chapman has become a sensation, front page news around the world. For the FBI, the case is a win, as agents were able to watch the spy ring for a decade. But whatever was learned about Russian methods is now a secret the U.S. government is not about to share. Bob or CBS News, Washington.